Now, whenever we talk about automobiles, we talk about German engineering. And of course, that automatically infers cars. But that's not the case because we have some very fine motorcycles coming from Germany as well. Of course, I'm talking about BMW Motorrad and their bikes are now available here in India, of course. And we've got a lineup of three of them right here to see what makes them special. Here they are, the bikes from Bavaria. Of the five families from BMW Motorrad, the S1000RR is from the hottest and the youngest of the lot, the sports bike family. And it's capable of tearing up any track. Then there's the big hulking naked bike, the K1300R, from BMW's urban motorcycle family. It's the bully of the streets. And last but definitely not the least is the star from the entire BMW range, the R1200 GS from the Enduro family. GS is an abbreviation of German words signifying off-road and road. Each motorcycle has a unique character and its very own appeal. Yet, they all maintain a very high standard of design and engineering. Now, BMW has some very special designs when it comes to suspension and final drives. Let's see what they are. The R1200 GS actually uses a single wishbone setup at the front with a centrally mounted spring over damper unit. This is called telelever. It makes steering better as it separates the suspension from the steering components. The K1300R borrows its setup from high-end cars. After all, it uses a double wishbone setup with a strut mounted in between. That's not all. Both these bikes do not use chains to transfer power to the rear wheel. Instead, they use BMW's famous shaft drive system. It also doubles up as a single-sided swing arm. In comparison, the S1000RR seems very tame. It has conventional front forks and a normal chain drive. But don't be fooled. It's anything but tame. The S1000RR is BMW's flat-out sports bike. And it's really won itself a lot of acclaim. But let's see for ourselves now what this bike is like to ride right here. Even before you sling a leg over it, the S1000RR makes a mark. Its design is unmistakable, if somewhat unpretty. The squint headlight units are right-sized to save weight. The engine fairing plays Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde too. On one side, it has shark gills and on the other, it has a scooped out section. Ultralight packaging means the S1000RR feels slim and light from the moment you get onto it. The compact tank sweeps into the saddle. The tail rises quickly and ends in a sharp, fang-like rear. Extensive use of lightweight materials like magnesium, titanium and aluminium have managed to give the S1000RR a weight of 206 kilos, that too with a tank full of gas. When you combine that with a potent 4-cylinder 999cc engine with 193 horses, well, you can have a blast. At first, the S1000RR proved surprisingly easy to ride. But that's because I was using the pre-programmed rain mode, which limits power to 150 bhp and also softens the power delivery. It will make trundling around at city speeds very easy. For the full blast, you need to choose the race mode and head out. Accelerate hard, keep the throttle wide open and once you get past the 7000 RPM mark, the S1000RR will feel like it's about to head for orbit. It just blasts away and hits the 14200 RPM rev limiter in no time. Power delivery is strong but it is real easy to make the best use of. The motor also feels very smooth. 
What makes the S1000RR all the more impressive is the slick 6-speed gearbox and the light action of the cable-operated clutch. The suspension too is surprisingly comfortable by super sports bike standards. Of course, it goes without saying that the S1000RR felt agile and committed when asked to change direction, feeling very confident at higher speeds. Now, it's really no surprise that BMW's S1000RR is a wild child. It's really quite a banshee, loves to rev and delivers a massive punch while it does that and emits this wonderful sound that is just so hard to get out of your head. But what really surprised me from apart from all of that was the fact that this bike is really easy to be on. Its seating posture is quite comfortable, the ride quality is nice and with the engine having different maps, you can set it to rain mode and really use the motorcycle to even crawl around in city traffic. Otherwise as well, the motor is quite tractable. However, for some people, this hunched over riding position and that you know aggressive stance might not be the thing, in which case, you've got something more comfortable from BMW as well without sacrificing much on power. This is BMW's K1300R, what I like to call the Bavarian Bruiser. The K1300R looks like a prize-winning wrestler. From the rider's seat, the tank stretches forward like a muscle chest with extensions jutting out to the front headlights. It seems like the eyes are locking one of Clint Eastwood's best squints on you. It's not something you would laugh at. The stealth fighter-like creases on the small engine fairing and the exposed engine itself is stunning to behold. The wide, gently contoured seat is soft and cushy. There's a small screen for deflecting wind, but it does a proper job of protecting the smart analog and digital instrument console. Out on the road, you can enjoy the 1293cc 4-cylinder motor's raw punch. It has 173bhp of it. There's solid pulling power as there's 14.2kg of torque on hand. Like a freight train, there's a relentless surge of power all the way to the red line. It has neck-snapping acceleration. Throttle response is almost as sharp as a sports bike. On top of that, the motor feels tractable at any speed. You can ride this bike in traffic in 4th or even 5th gear. It will pull from as low as 2,500 rpm without blinking. The hydraulically operated clutch is smooth to operate and has a nice and meaty feel to it. At 243 kilos, this bike is not a lightweight boxer. But thanks to the dual lever front suspension, it just doesn't feel as heavy and as long as it should. The light steering and good range of steering movement will make it very easy to weave this bike around through traffic. At higher speeds, it feels as light and sharp as a scalpel. It just slices through all corners. The soft seat combined with the suspension setup never let poor road surfaces disturb your ride. Overall, refinement is of such a high standard that you can't help but compare this two-wheeler with BMW's luxurious cars. The engine emits no vibrations whatsoever, even when you are at the red line. The gearbox itself is one of the smoothest around, but occasionally finding neutral takes a bit of effort. Overall, the K1300R is very addictive, just like any bad habit. Now, the K1300R has proved to be delightful right from the word go. Its looks are a top draw for me. I like its funky, quirky looks. And apart from that, it looks nice and muscular and big. But the surprising part is that it is quite agile when you ride it around. It really belies the size that it has and made it with this, you know, 1300cc four-cylinder transmission. It's an absolute bomb. The engine remains smooth right through its rev range, no matter how hard you push it. And there's just so much punch on tap. It's incredibly addictive. The only thing that some people might not like is a slightly sporty position, but then this is an urban motorcycle. But if you want to head out and wander out into the wild, then you have this BMW's R1200 GS, one of BMW's icons, and well, frankly, quite intimidating as you can see from its size. The GS is a mountain of a motorcycle in terms of abilities and the way it looks. It has a prominent beak with the squint eye sitting on top of it. It has a purposeful, built-to-last kind of feel that's just so impressive. 
For its on and off-road use, it comes with a towering adjustable windshield. After all, you'll need something to keep the wind and dust out of your hair. There's also hand protectors on the handlebars. Instruments include an analog speedometer and tachometer, plus a digital readout. The large 21-litre fuel tank has smart cladding to it. The seat is spacious and comfortable for the rider and for the pillion. The exhaust is stunning, it's like a big bazooka. And the completely exposed rear wheel is really eye-catching. The highlight, however, has to be the motorcycle's engine. This 1170cc motor is a flat twin, so you can see the two cylinders jutting out on either side. It's absolutely stunning. Techies will be interested to know that each camshaft on the engine operates one inlet and one outlet. Come the starter, rev the motor and you'll be able to feel a tug sideways. That's the effect of the Boxer engine. Once out on the road, the performance is stunning. There's 110 bhp and 12.23 kgm on offer. When you snap the throttle open, you really have to hold on as there's a tsunami-like roll of power all the way to 8,500 rpm. It just hauls you forward. The deep pulsing exhaust note sweetens the deal as you cruise along at over 120 km an hour. The widespread of torque makes this bike very easy to ride, which means it will be a breeze even on our crowded Indian streets. However, vibrations can be felt when you're under 2,500 rpm. On the bright side, gear shifts on the 1 down and 5 up box are nice, and the hydraulic clutch is always a pleasure to use. Ride is outstanding. It really isn't surprising that the GS can take potholes and bumps in its stride, even at higher speeds. And it gets even better off-road. The GS charges through all terrains with a tank-like authority. It also has traction control to increase safety. The wide handlebar provides good leverage for quick steering, whether you're in the city or out carving corners. It also feels very sure-footed when pushed hard around corners. All 2011 BMW motorcycles come with ABS as standard and it certainly is a welcome addition. Astride the GS, you can head out and conquer the Himalayas or just head out for your weekend ride. This is truly a bike for every season. Now, where all you take your R1200 GS depends on where you get 97 octane fuel and of course your guts. You can do something about the 97 octane, you can opt for the other fuel package which lets this bike run on regular unleaded fuel. Of course, the GS with its 1200cc motor is more tuned towards cruising and comfortable covering of distances. It's a more torque-oriented motorcycle rather than outright performance. And out there on the highway, it really does feel incredible. We'll have to blame German engineering for the unforgettable experience that these motorcycles have to offer. They're absolutely loaded with top-notch quality, addictive and usable performance and character by the truckload. Of course, all three motorcycles are really quite accomplished and easily some of the best motorcycles that you can have in the world. The catch here, of course, is the price tag, which starts at 18 lakh rupees ex showroom Mumbai, which means these motorcycles are in the reach of a very select few. So those of you that can afford these motorcycles, do check them out. They're well worth the money. And for me, I'm going to be looking at you every time you pass by and turn green with envy.